There might be some terms you guys don't know, so today I'm gonna be going over what an EMOM is. An E M O M, EMOM, SHMEMOM, whatever the heck. You guys might be so confused and I actually just wanna go over what it is today, give you guys a quick example of a workout, and also just give you guys inspiration to just get out and work out at home and stay active, especially with what's going on right now in California, round two. We got this, man. We're gonna come out this strong. It's gonna be a spicy one, man, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. guys starting today with a run so we're gonna go ahead and run come back and work out man start my whoop whoop is now integrated with strava man so i highly urge you guys to jump on strava create a profile log your workouts there but if you want something to track your recovery and just to track your day strain your boys in the green today man we got 95 percent recovery from last night's sleep highly urge you guys to look into into the whoop because i love it i'm gonna go ahead and start it running because your heart right there and it starts up let's get it y'all Get these views, guys. Good tunes, good views. Get hyped for the workout, man. Come on. Enjoy it, man. It's hard, but enjoy it. Might as well. Well done, man. Good run. Good sweat, good breathing. Good tunes, good views, good vibes, man. Let's go, man. Breakfast Club CTG, we in this B, man. Let's go get the workout in. Let's get it. The 10,000 shorts, interval, seven inch. Love them, man. Let's go get this work. Agua. All right guys, back at the house now. Just got my gym set up out here in my backyard. It's very simple to do. I just really want to make this video more educational and explaining it to you guys because I know a lot of you guys might be just now getting into CrossFit or functional fitness, just working out in general, and there might be some terms you guys don't know. So today, I'm gonna to be going over what an EMOM is, an E-M-O-M. -M. Emom, Shmeemom, whatever the heck, you guys might be so confused and I actually just want to go over what it is today, give you guys a quick example of a workout, and also just give you guys inspiration to just get out and work out at home and stay active, especially with what's going on right now in California, round two. We got this, man. We're going to come out this strong. Literally just set up two mats, barbell, and I got my weights. That's literally all we're going to need, and it's going to be a cardio strength, and it's going to be a spicy one, man. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys. So first things first, we got to warm up. We got to warm up. We got to get the muscles going, man. So we're going to start off with an every minute on the minute warm up. What better way to do it than that? So I highly recommend you guys look up Wad Timer in the App Store. It's going to be a little multicolored timer and it's going to say Wad in it. I highly recommend you guys download that. From there, you're going to go to the menu. You're going to hit EMOM. You're going to set it up and we're going to go every minute on the minute for let's go five rounds. So five minutes, boom, start timer and hit start. So let me explain what an EMOM is. EMOM itself means every minute on the minute. So when someone says 
I'm gonna be doing five sit-ups, five push-ups, and five burpees every minute on the minute. For five, it means you're gonna set a timer and you have one minute to complete all those movements. If you complete all those movements, the remainder of that minute is gonna be rest time. As soon as you go from zero to 60 and you hit that one minute mark, you repeat the workout again. And that's gonna be one round. You do it again, whatever time you have remaining is your rest time. Once it hits two minutes, you start the next round and vice versa. Once you get to five minutes, you should have completed five rounds. Obviously, a minute around is five minutes and that's basically what an imam is this is great because it really shortens your rest times depending on what the workout is it can rest in your short time and keep you moving keep you sweating keep your heart rate up sometimes it's an adequate rest for you it's just enough rest for you to get recovered and get ready to hit another lift i love doing imams for big lifts like let's say power cleans snatches i love doing them for pull-ups i love doing them for toast -to bar because it doesn't let me take that long of a rest on the big lifts it lets me get enough rest time and then get back to the bar and also just keep it going, keep it going at a steady pace without me having to consciously think about like, okay, I should probably hit another set now. On the vice versa, if I want to spice things up, I set the reps and workload pretty high to where I don't get as much rest and it just keeps me moving and it gets really hard and I get breathing, I get sweating, man. So it's just for different types of workouts, different protocols, different types of workouts, incorporate them however you'd like and you can just switch it up and have fun. I personally love EMOMs, man. So let's go ahead and get into this EMOM. It's going to be a five minute EMOM, so it's going to be five rounds. We're gonna go five band pulls, as you guys will see. Five push-ups, five up-downs, and five deadlifts on the bar. Let's go ahead and get into it. Done. Now the remainder of this minute is going to be rest time. We've got about 10 to 15 seconds rest and we get back into it. Great warm up. Right, guys now that the imam is done i hope you guys got a good idea of how it works what they are etc now that was just a little example you might have imams with only one movement like i said working on form technique and giving you adequate rest time while staying on schedule or you might have other workouts that have multiple movements let's say two or three and you're gonna have very little rest time like this this was only a 10 to 15 second rest but it was very less taxing movements it was getting us breathing getting us primed to go to the workout so that's okay it, it worked also that was a five minute imam you can do these for every minute on the minute for 10 minutes if someone says imam for 10 imam for 15 it means every minute on the minute for 10 minutes or 15 minutes example it's going to be like 10 to 15 rounds or we're going to go into a little something that might be a little more confusing at first but you'll get the hang of it and that's going to be every minute and 30 on the minute for 15 or every two minutes for five every two minutes for 10 and usually they'll specify if they mean five minutes 10 minutes or five rounds 10 rounds the beautiful thing about that timer is if you choose a workout let's say it's every minute and 30 for five rounds if you you just set it every minute on the minute for 130 scroll down on the minutes and let's say it's it's every minute on the minute for 130 it'll tell you the rounds you don't have to do the math in your head it'll tell you this at the 12 minute mark it's this amount of rounds at the five minute mark it's this amount of, of rounds and example it just keeps going like that if it's every minute on the minute for 10 rounds that's how you would do that if, if it's every minute and 30 seconds for 10 rounds that's how that would be if it's every minute and 30 seconds for 10 minutes then you would just go to the 10 minute mark and it'll tell you how many rounds you would be in at that point it's very easy very simple especially with that timer you don't have to do it in your head so i highly recommend you guys get a timer it makes life a whole lot easier we're gonna go ahead and get into the strength portion of the workout now. I hope you guys are following along still, and this one's gonna kind of be that example that I just gave. I know it was a little confusing. It might be like drinking out of a fire hose, but just bear with me. You guys will get the hang of it. Let's go ahead and get into the strength. All right, guys, so as we were talking about that, the workout is gonna be deadlifts, hand cleans, and front rack reverse lunges. So we're gonna slowly increase weight. We're gonna start with the bar, add the 10s, add the 35s. We're only gonna go up to 135 today because that's the workout weight, but this is gonna be a good workout to show you guys this EMOM because these are kind of more technical movements. 
you're going to want to move through them good, well, efficiently, and you're really going to want to prioritize form and technique, so this is something where you just kind of either go heavy or low, depending on how much rest time you have, you kind of feel it out yourself, but this is going to be every minute and 30 seconds for seven sets. So in my timer here, I'm going to go ahead and screen record it for you guys and throw it up on the screen, which it should be going live now. Okay, so basically we're going to go into the wad timer again. Boom, you're a beast. I know. Let's go. And we're going to go every minute and 30 seconds. Four, and we want seven rounds. See how it's six minutes? It's going to be four rounds. Seven minutes and 30, that's five rounds. We're going to go 10 minutes and 30 seconds. That's going to be seven rounds. It says seven times. And the workout is, yep, it's going to be two deadlifts, two hang power cleans, two front rack, or four front rack reverse lunges every minute and 30 for seven seconds. So that's how this is going to work. And then all you do is start timer. It starts counting down from 10. And boom, man. So let's go ahead and get into this now. So we're all done with the first round. Now the remainder of that is going to be rest time. Luckily with this timer, it's also going to be beeping. At halfway, it's going to say halfway. Once it gets to your last three seconds, it starts beeping and then a loud beep means to hit it again. We're going to add weight and slowly go from there, man. So let's get it. guys so on the four lunges it's alternating I know a lot of you guys might be coming from bodybuilding you might be like oh four each side when it says just four unless otherwise stated it's gonna be four alternating unless it says four each arm or four each side etc so it was one two three four on the lunges but also home gym tip if you got metal weights please lay down mats in you don't want to crack your metal weights and you don't want to crack your foundation or your cement so get mats obviously out for bumpers man let's go ahead and throw more weight on Got 115 on the bar. It's also the beauty of bumpers, man. You can drop your weight, you can go ham, literally push it to the very last brink, let very last second, and drop the weight. <laughs> guys I'm gonna be sticking to this weight for maybe another round so I'm gonna do three rounds of this and then throw on 135 let's get it Alright guys, that was the last round. Let's get it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little EMOM. Hope you guys are getting the hang of it, man. So that was, I think, seven total rounds every minute and 30 seconds on the minute. Every minute and 30 seconds for seven rounds, basically. Spicy, as you can tell. If anyone ever tells you, like, this is what you need to do, every minute on the minute for five, every minute on the minute for seven rounds, every minute, every two minutes, for six rounds, every two minutes, for six minutes, You'll get the hang of it, man. Get that wad timer, it's a lifesaver. It helps you not do math in your head because I get workout brain. I don't know about you guys, but I can't literally critical think when I'm working out. I can sometimes with math, it's just not my strong suit either way. So that timer will definitely help you guys out. But yeah, that's the strength portion. Let's go ahead and get into the next piece. All right guys, so the next piece 
is gonna be, it's not gonna be an EMOM, it's gonna be four rounds for time, so as fast as you can go. It's gonna be a 300 meter row. Unfortunately, we don't have a rower, we have an assault bike. And I got a new piece of kit coming, man, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do an unboxing, a setup, and we're gonna hit a workout on it, man. I'm so pumped for it. Hope you guys can get your hands on one of these things as well. But we don't have that, so I'm gonna whip out the assault bike on here, and we're just gonna go maybe 30 second, 45 second sprint on that. It's gonna be 20 up downs, and then it's gonna be, I believe, let me check real quick, man. I literally just read the workout and I already forgot it. So it's gonna be a 300 meter row, I believe. Right around 500 meters takes me like two minutes, a minute and 30 seconds, I believe, or maybe two, I can't really remember, but I think we're just gonna do a minute on the soul bike and then we're gonna go 20 up downs and then it's gonna be 10 front rack forward facing lunges at 135. So should be a good one, man. It's gonna get spicy on the breathing and then on the up downs, obviously, and then the lunges are just gonna burn. 135 is kind of heavy. But it's gonna be 10, so it's obviously five each leg, so it's doable, man. We just gotta push through. Um, we can do it EMOM fashion. If you guys wanted to do it in an EMOM fashion, I would say just go like, I would say maybe 30 second bike, the 20 up downs, the 10 reverse lunges. I would go maybe every two minutes for four rounds or every two minutes and 30 seconds for four rounds. And that should be pretty good on that. And that's honestly, that's what we might do here, honestly. We might just do that. We're gonna tweak it a little bit and we're gonna make it in the EMOM fashion since this is an EMOM video, man. So we're gonna go every two minutes and 30 seconds for four rounds. Let's see how we do. Guys. This is a solid setup. Literally just get two mats, barbell, maybe some weights, kettlebell and a dumbbell, a piece of cardio equipment, either a rower, a biker, an assault bike, a runner, and you're good to go. Like literally, I have this set up in my garage with my rack and my rings and stuff. But on sunny days when it's like not crazy hot and there's a nice breeze going or just like a, a solid moderate day, like you can go outside and have a have a outside workout. If you guys scroll through the very like early days of my Instagram where I used to live in San Diego and I used to work out at EOS Fitness, which was an outdoor gym. It was literally like an outdoor functional fitness gym and they had like an outdoor bodybuilding gym. That's where I spent all my time. And like now I'm doing it at home. Like the, the mini home gym is coming together. I'm, I'm just so pumped, man. I'm so grateful and thankful for the opportunity to be able to do this and just like get workouts in and just pumped man like it's exciting it's fun let's get it man let's go ahead and get into this workout That gets tough, man, real quick. Don't underestimate EMOMs.
mom complete, guys. Oh man, that was hard. Don't underestimate EMOMs. Like I said, there's times and places for the more race, the more rest, heavier loads technique form, and there's also times where you just go full send throughout the whole time you have. Get as much rest and recovery with what time you have left, and just hit it again, man. Just keep going. Then day, it's about finishing, right? So don't underestimate EMOMs, man. They're awesome. I love them. They're spicy. They're strong. They're everything you want in a workout, basically. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Go over to Instagram, follow me there, shots underscore G. Let me know you guys came from here. I'm so stoked that you guys decided to come on this journey with me to come to my channel to watch these videos, man. We're a family, baby. Breakfast club. People work out in the morning. Just get after it. The breakfast club. You guys are a part of it, man. I'm so stoked that you guys are coming along this journey. If you guys need help with training and nutrition, I'd love to help you find that fun and excitement. Apply for one of on coaching. The link is in the description. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. If you guys enjoyed this video, well, maybe we'll go over AMRAPs next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys are going to watch that video. But I'm so stoked that you guys are on this journey, man. Stay tuned. Two new videos every week. Let's get it, man. Breakfast club. CTG. We out this beat.